Bless you, brother. Amen. Well, it's a good, uh, it's a blessing to be back here at Canaan Land, and uh, uh, a lot of brings a lot back a lot of memories uh, uh, when I was younger, and uh, 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 didn't have gray hair and all that. Amen. Uh, I think of Preacher John's, and uh, I just thank the Lord for him. Uh, and what a blessing he's been to my life and inspiration to me. If you have your Bibles, turn to Philippians chapter 2. He's been a, a great inspiration to me. Uh, when I, I'm an old preacher now, but when I was a young preacher, uh, 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 he was a, a real, been a real inspiration in my life. And uh, uh, I think we've known each other for 32 years. Uh, I've known him longer than I've known my wife. Amen. Uh, uh, so, amen. Uh, uh, 32 years we've been friends. And, uh, and I thank the Lord. Uh, when I was in Bible college down the road here, I can remember uh, we used to have... Cain Land was having some of those uh, uh, Friday night prayer meetings and a bunch of us young preachers would come down here and pray and uh, shout and uh, boy just a blessing amen and, and I appreciate uh, different times to have me over to church and preach and I think about this was the first church 28 years ago uh, I started my adaptation to be a missionary in England and this is the first meeting I had uh, when I started my adaptation outside of Concord and uh, that was 28 years ago. God's been good to us. Uh, uh, we thank the Lord for the blessings of God. Uh, uh, God called us to probably one of the hardest mission fields that you go to in the world. But I'm going to tell you this morning, God's been faithful. Amen. Uh, God has been so good to us. Uh, I thank the Lord that the, the churches that God has started, uh, the souls have been saved, people have been baptized, uh, people have been reached the gospel. Maybe we don't even know anything about both those tens of thousands of gospel tracks uh, that have been going out uh, uh, for those 24 years that we've been on the field. There's no telling what God's done. Uh, and that uh, gospel track could go where you can't go. Amen. Uh, and we just praise the Lord for that. And please get one of our prayer cards in the back of the church there and take that and uh, uh, take that wherever you might go the most. I know for most Baptists uh, a lot of times that's the refrigerator amen uh, and put that on your refrigerator a amen and uh and pray for us praise the lord we need your prayers uh, we appreciate your support through these many years but we need your prayers as much as the support amen and so you pray for us as a lord willing october the first we'll be uh going back uh to the mission field uh and so we're looking forward to getting back and doing what God's called us to do. And so we're just trying to, Corona's kind of messed up our, our schedule on furlough. So we're trying to get in as many churches between now and the time we leave uh, uh, and everything. Would you pray for us and uh, pray for the work there. Uh, we're, uh, England is just starting to open up from lockdown over in England. Uh, England's been affected a lot worse than America. We've seen over 42,000 people died. Uh, uh, because of the coronavirus over there, our church has not been able to have church for 12 weeks now. And so we've been doing everything by video. I've uh, uh, been recording video messages and sent them to the church folk. And, uh, and Lord willing, next Sunday will be our first Sunday that they're allowed to open up the church. And so you pray for that. One of our men will be preaching next Sunday. And then we just had a, a furlough relief missionary fly out on Tuesday from Florida. He's a retired missionary, but he uh, fills in for missionaries when they go on furlough. And, uh, and so he's over there now, but he's in quarantine for 14 days before he can go out. Uh, and he, and uh, they're making everyone fly into the country, uh, being quarantined for two weeks. And so as soon as he's out, he'll be uh, leading the church forward, him and the men of the church will. And so you pray for them as they're trying to get the church open back up. And things are going to, it's going to take a long time to get things are going. We're not even going to be allowed to sing even when we, uh, next Sunday, the government won't even let us sing even. Uh, and so it's really awkward. Uh, but we have no, like here in America, we have a bill of rights. We have a constitution, but that's why the pilgrims, they left England because they wanted religious freedom. Uh, and so, you know, we're living, in, we're, we're living in a socialist country over there. And so we have to do what the government tells. They can take our building away or, or anything. And so we have to do what they say. So we're just praying that we'll be able to 
get back as soon as possible. But at least we're going to at least be able to have preaching next Sunday. And, uh, and so you pray for them over there. And then we go back in October. We're just praying next year. Uh, that maybe the Lord would help us try to get another work started. And so we're just praying for God to help us in these days. Uh, my daughter, I miss my daughter today. Uh, uh, my daughter, she got married about five weeks ago. And so she, only bad problem was she didn't marry someone from Georgia. That was the biggest problem, amen. Uh, uh, she married someone from Alabama. Now, uh, that's bad. Uh, uh, especially when it comes to football time, amen. Uh, it's going to be really, good thing I live 4,000 miles away. Hey, but you know what he'll do? He'll always send me a text. He'll say, what happened to those Bulldogs today uh, uh, when they play Alabama? I'm looking for the day when I can send him a text uh, and say, what happened to Bama today? Amen. Uh, 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 but I loved it when they lost last year. Uh, lost early in the season. I, boy, it made me feel good. Amen. Uh, uh, but, uh, uh, serious is all side. You pray for them. They're, they're going to church over near Gatston, Alabama, and a good church over there. And his mom and daddy are missionaries uh, going to Scotland. Now, we just need to pray uh, 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 for uh, Rebecca and Thomas that God will just call Thomas uh, to come back to the United Kingdom. We'll be all right. Uh, uh, that way we'll be a lot closer to those grandbabies, amen. Uh, uh, then I better get them, get them out of Alabama at least. Uh, uh, but you pray for them as they're uh, serving the Lord in their church there uh, in Atala, Alabama. And uh, I believe Brother Glass, he's, he's preached over there many times. Uh, Bible Baptist Church there in Atala, Alabama. He's a uh, priest of revivals and uh, camp meetings over there through the years. Uh, and that's where she's going to church, good church. And we praise the Lord for it. Amen. But you have your Bibles this morning. Turn to Philippians uh, uh, chapter 2. It's good, uh, it's good to be back in Georgia. Amen. Uh, uh, it's good to be back in North Georgia. You don't get to be back very often. Uh, we get to, uh, when we're back, uh, we're all over the country. Country and uh, next Sunday I'll be preaching in Ohio. Then the Sunday after that, uh, God help us, but we're going to be all the way in New York, uh, uh, Lord willing. The Sunday after that, and uh, and, uh, and then uh, we're just been busy on the road. So you pray for us as up and down these roads traveling that God will keep us safe. Uh, but here in Philippians chapter two, and we notice here in verse uh, nine, uh, wherefore God also have exalted him uh, and given him name which above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Our dearly Father, Lord, we want to come to God today. Lord, I thank you for this great church and what they stood for all these years here at Canaan land. Uh, and Lord, it's good to come back here uh, and see that things have not changed. Uh, just being old-fashioned. Uh, Lord, we're living today. Uh, a lot of churches are leaving the old paths. Uh, they're leaving the old time way. Uh, but Lord, it's a blessing. Uh, see a church continuing on. Uh, and Lord, I'm looking forward to that day uh, when you're going to come again. Uh, and I pray that you bless and speak to our hearts today. In your name, amen. You know, you know each of us today, uh, we possess a name. They say a name that's been given to our parents. Perhaps we was named after some relative or maybe we're given a name that our parents liked. But whatever the reason is and however you can come by your name that's probably that our name didn't have a great significance or beyond, behind your name or behind my name. But in our text we're told about a name that does have great significance this morning. The name of Jesus stands out above every name that's around the world. It's above all other names, the name of Jesus. And I'm telling you today, in the Bible, Jesus is given many names. In the Bible, Jesus is given many titles. Oh, I'm glad that he's the Adam. He He's that anointed. He's that apostle. He's the author. He's the amen. He's the alpha and the omega. He's the ancient of days. That's my Lord. And that's my Savior today. Oh, 
He's the beginning. He's the begotten. He's the beloved. He's the branch. He's the bread. He's the bridegroom. He's the bread of morning star. He's the bishop of our souls. He's the brightness of our Father's glory. That's our Lord and Savior. Oh, he's a captain. He's a consolation. He's the chief cornerstone. He's a counselor. He's the covenant. He's the chosen of God. He is the Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, he's the daysman. He's the deliverer. He's the day star. He's the door. He's the desire of all the nations of the world. That's our Lord. That's our Savior. Amen. He's the elect. He's the ensign. He's the everlasting Father. He is Emmanuel. He's the finisher of our faith. He's that forerunner. He's that friend. He's that first fruit. He's that faithful witness. He's a foundation of life that's issuing from the cave of death today. That's our Lord. That's our Savior. That's how I've come to worship today. He's that God. He's the gift of God. He's that governor. He's that guide. He's that glorious Lord of the universe. Oh, he's that help. He's that hope. He's that husband. He's the horn of salvation. He's the hearer. He's the head of the church. He is heir of all things. He's that high priest. He's hell's dread. He's heaven wonder. He's a holy one of God. I say hallelujah today. He's the I am. He's the inheritance. He's the image of God's person. He is that immortal. He is that invisible. He is the Judah. He is that just. He is that judge. He is Jesus of Nazareth. Hallelujah. He's that king. He's the king of kings. He's the king of glory. He is the king of Israel. He is king everlasting. That's my Lord. That's my Savior. Hallelujah. Oh, he's that life. He's the light of love. He's the lily of the valley. He's the lion of Judah. He's that lamb of God. He's that lawgiver. He's the living stone. He's the Lord of glory. Amen. He's that messenger. He's the Messiah. He's that mediator. He's that master. He's the mighty God. He's mercy's paradox today. He's that Nazarene. He's the offspring of David. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the only begotten of God. He's that offering. He's that officer. That's our Lord and our Savior God. Oh, he's the righteous. He's the rabbi. He's the ransom. He's that rest. He's the root of Jesse. He's that, he's that refiner. He's that refuge. He's the resurrection. He's the rose of Sharon that's blooming in the shades of hell. He's that ruler. He's the redeemer. He's the rock of ages. The cleft Amen. Oh, I forgot the peas, I think. He's the priest. He's the Passover. He's a potentate. He's that prophet. He's that propitiation. He's the prince of life. He's the prince of peace. He's the physician. Now heal all your souls, all your trials today. He's my Lord. Hallelujah. He's that stone. He's that shepherd. He's the son of God. He's the son of man. He's that shield. He's that servant. He's the seed of the woman. He's that surety. He's that sufferer. He's that savior. He's a sinless sacrifice. He's the same yesterday and today and forever. My Lord, no change. Hallelujah. Oh, he's a teacher. He's the truth. He's a tabernacle. He's a testator. He's a treasurer. He's the tree of life. Amen. He's that witness. He's that word. He's the way. He's the wisdom of God. He is the wonderful and all the words of the Bible. He is the fairest among 10,000. He is all together lovely. Hallelujah today. Of all the names, 
that's given to this man. None is more precious and none is as sweet as the, the majestic of the name of Jesus today. And I want to look, look at the name that's above every name this morning. Uh, uh, it's a special name. Uh, uh, the name of Jesus was very popular back in that day. Uh, it was no different uh, than any other name uh, that would be given uh, uh, to a child. Uh, but even our day, uh, they tell me down in Latin America, the name of Jesus uh, is very common. Uh, and what this is true, uh, it's still the name uh, that's chosen by the Heavenly Father for the Son, the during the time of his humiliation and there must be something special about that name I feel special because of a name that was picked by the father oh the name of Jesus it wasn't given to our Lord by Mary it wasn't given to our Lord by Joseph it was a name that was handpicked by God and this alone I believe it makes a name that stands above all other name I believe this name is a special name that is worthy. I believe it's worthy of our investigation. I thank God for the name of Jesus. There's no other name. I turn every king and every queen and every politician and every individual one day will bow down at the feet of our Lord and our Savior. Oh, I'm looking for that day. I believe we're going to check on out of here very soon, my friend. I'm looking forward to be a my Lord. Oh, it's a name that points back to the Father. Oh, the name of Jesus, Jehovah, is salvation. Oh, that precious and that sweet name. It reveals a side of Jesus that many fail to grasp today while God is a God of wrath and God is a God of judgment. He is purely and holy love. God so loved everything. He does an outgrowth of the expression of his love. And when the Father sent Jesus to come into this world. He was sending a message to all humanity. It was a message that said, I have not forgotten nor forsaken you. I have loved you and I have given you and a son who will receive me to you. I tell this world is in a mess today. I tell it seems like the whole world has gone nuts in the last couple of months. But I'm telling you, it's a byproduct. I'm afraid and we will allow children Children to grow up with no discipline and there's been no authority and we've we have allowed things to go on that we've never should allow and we've gotten to a place that we think we know more than the church we think that we know more than God we've tried to tell people you come from some kind of monkey and now they're acting like a bunch of wild monkeys amen I tell them that's what evolution will do I tell them but I'm telling you Christianity will put you in your right mind religion will blow up buildings Religion will drive you crazy. But I'm telling Jesus will put you in your right mind. I tell that's what we need today. Old fashioned dose, old time revival, old time preacher of the word of God. We need to get back to preaching thus saith the Lord. We need to get back to naming sin like it once was named before years ago and see God do a move of God. Or oh, it's, it's a name that paints God's portrait. The name of Jesus reveals the son's mission. It reveals the father's heart. God isn't in the condemning business, but he's in the soul saving business today. He wants no one to die and go to fail. He tells it that hell wasn't made for the, for, the, for the loss. It was made for the devil and his angels. And when the father chose that name of Jesus, his son would bear during that time of his humiliation. He was telling every creature in the universe that one word. His goal was redemption of salvation of mankind and that's what he wanted to do it's accomplished through the name of Jesus what's going to change this world and what's going to change this society I tell you, we need to get out of the thing about hating everybody and being offended over everything what we need is old fashioned those old time salvation where the Holy Ghost will convict you and show that you're lost and that you'll get saved by the grace of God it's a sad day we're burning 
down buildings. We're blowing up buildings. We're killing people. We're so full of hatred. But I'm telling when God comes in your heart and it changes your life, he'll take that hatred away and give you a love that the world doesn't know about. I'm talking about a love that only God knows. A love that only a child of God can know. That's the kind of love he wants to this day. Oh, I, I, I'm glad it's a, it's a stainless name also. Oh, every other name could be attached to a list of goods and evils that's been done by some person, but to the name of Jesus, that can only be attached of praise and honor and worship. The Bible tells us his name is heard and to be reverenced through of the praise and worship of God. The worship to be involved, I believe, is humility. Oh, the bowing of that knee is a clear sign of humility. I believe it's a sign of reverence that Christ is. He'll be honored in heaven. Oh, there the precious name of Jesus be honored as nowhere else today when the name of Jesus uh, is heard in that heavenly realm. Uh, it's the catalyst uh, of rejoicing. Uh, it'll be a time of praise. Uh, and heaven the name of Jesus uh, is a constant source of praise. Uh, I tell we got a reason to praise him today. Uh, I tell oh I don't know about all this shouting all this glory. I'm, tell, I'm just getting practice of going to heaven. Amen. Uh, in heaven we're going to rejoice uh, and praise God for all of eternity. What he's done for me. We won't be praising some sports star. We won't be praising some football player or some track star. But we're going to be in heaven. I'm telling you, we're going to be praising him and give him honor and glory because what all he's done for us. I thank the day that God saved me, brought me an old time Holy Ghost conviction. I'm like, the, I'm like Brother John's here. I can't tell you a lot. When I got saved, I, I didn't do a lot too much bad. I was a young person. Uh, but thank God for that. Uh, I'm glad that God saved me uh, at a younger age uh, and grow up and be, and be able to be in God's house uh, and being under some of the greatest preaching that I've heard in my life. And I praise God for that. A lot of people's not had that privilege. Uh, they've not had the privilege to be, uh, get saved when they were young. Uh, and, but one thing you can do, you can teach your children and your grandchildren uh, uh, being in God's house uh, and, and living for God. Uh, there's nothing like it. Oh, I believe he'll be praised in heaven. But also he prays on earth uh, for most of the name of Jesus. It's not sad to say it's nothing but a swear word today. Uh, oh, we, we'll use uh, all his name as a swear word. Uh, and, and boy, I'm telling you, my friend, uh, I, I, that bothers me uh, when people go around using my Lord and my Savior uh, as a swear word. Uh, I tell we need to tell this lost and dying world what, what real Christianity is all about. Uh, they've seen religion. Uh, now so what religion will do. Uh, and as I said, religion Religion, I'll, I'll mess you up. Oh, but I'm telling Christianity, it'll change your heart. It'll change your life. When you get an old-fashioned dose of salvation, it'll change everything you ever knew when God gets a hold of you. And that's what this world needs to see. They don't need to see a molester. Be, uh, they don't need to see these priests molesting and doing wicked, ungodly things. That's what they think of religion today. They think of they think about the, the Catholic Church and think about how all these these preachers uh, have done wicked unimaginable things uh, but I'm telling you I thank God uh, for a man of God uh, that will love God uh, and preach that book uh, and stand on the word of God uh, and get a hold of God in prayer uh, and get a hold of God through preaching uh, I tell you, I'm looking for that day uh, oh his name uh, oh, we need to love it uh, we need to worship uh, there's coming a day when the name of Jesus will be exalted through all the earth uh, and a day will come when the earth will bow down at the sweet name of our Lord and our Savior. Oh, but in hell uh, oh, tell you, while Jesus was here on earth, earth the demon uh, uh, gave him deep respect. Uh, I believe these demons uh, gave him reverence. Uh, and however, they will work against him. And they'll try to overthrow him. And they'll try to overthrow his kingdom. Uh, and they'll do this uh, by promoting a false sense of worship. And they'll go and spread their liberal theology of the dead. But the, but the day will come uh, when the demons of hell uh, and all his henchmen of Satan, even the devil himself, will bow down at the feet of Jesus Christ. Uh, they'll confess him as Lord. Uh, I, I don't know if, uh, uh, if the devil and the demons have knees and tongues, uh, but they will, they will bow down before our Lord of glory.
glory and they will exalt his name before they consign for before they die and they before they're assigned to hell oh but I believe the name of Jesus is great honor not only will there be a bound of knees before Jesus but the name of Jesus will be confessed uh, with the lips of every creature uh, a man uh, and angels the devil like uh, they'll join their voices in one mighty chorus uh, and they'll together uh, exalt that blessed name of our name Jesus Christ I don't know about you but I look forward to the day when the universe uh, is filled and deserved praises of that holy and righteous Lord this world will praise him one day uh, this world will give him honor today that's why vocal praise is so important today when we publicly exalt the name of Jesus uh, we're getting on God's plan uh, and Jesus and his people that and the devil and these demons have knees uh, and tongues they prostrate uh, oh but my friend we need to honor him not only will it be a bowing before the knees of Jesus but the name of Jesus will be crucified uh, will be confessed by the lips of every creature uh, uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll confess him as our Lord and I believe that's why it's so important that we come to church and praise his holy name today. I tell you the quietest place should be. It shouldn't be in God's house. We should be praising God where God has brought us from. There was a time in our life that we was down about God. Our life was in a mess. But Jesus came out and saved our soul. It changed our life. And what a greatest day that will be. But it's a saving name. Oh, I believe his name is a saving name. All the meaning of that name. Uh, by the very definition, the name of Jesus speaks about salvation. The name of Jesus means Jehovah's salvation. Uh, that's an appropriate name for our Lord because it's his name. In uh, his name alone that salvation is to be found. But may I remind you, uh, there, there's none other name under heaven get among men whereby we must be saved. I thank God for the name of Jesus. Oh, the ministry of that name. Uh, according to verses five through eight. Uh, this man named Jesus climbed Calvary. Uh, he died for all men. Uh, he humbled himself. Uh, and he died in that sinner's place. Uh, and thank God for that. Uh, but all uh, I thank God he died in the place of others. Uh, I'm glad he came on that old rugged cross. Uh, he died for the sins of the world. Uh, I'm glad when he was crucified on that cross his blood was shed for all the world. Uh, it wasn't just for a select few or, or this person or that person. It don't matter today what color skin you may be. It don't matter if you're rich or poor. It don't matter if you're handsome or ugly. Jesus came. He died on that cross for all the world today. I'm glad of that. I tell you that, that name. That's above every name. How it came and died and shed that precious blood. That blood was shed to wash away the sins of the world. I thank God he washed away your sins. He washed away my sins that day. Oh, we think of the ministry of that name. Oh, we think of the majesty of the name. These verses carry the sense that they're speaking to us about a man who is yet alive. Folks, we don't hang our, our, our futures based on hopes or exalt a name of one who is dead. No, my Savior lives today. I'm glad he's alive and well. You go to the tomb of Baal, he's still there. You go to the tomb of Muhammad, and he's still there. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not been to the Holy Lands and I would like to go one day. It seems every time I was invited to go uh, uh, last year, but then my daughter decided she went some boy to run off of some boy and get married uh, so I couldn't go. Amen. Uh, but I'd like to go sometime uh, to the Holy Lands, but if I never get to go I'm looking for the day because I know he's not there. Amen. Uh, you go to the tomb my Lord and my Savior you go to that tomb. He's not there how do you know that? Because I've talked to him today. I've talked to him all this week. He's alive and well. That's what makes Christianity different among all the other religions all around the world. Christianity never had a beginning. Christianity will never have an end because God is eternal. And he is eternal. And he is alive. And he is well. He never knew sin. He never did wrong. You go to any other religion of the world, there was beginning and the ending. The man, the, their founder sometime did something wrong. Their founder did some kind of sin during his life. But you go to the Lord uh, and you look at Christianity that was never the case.
days. He was sinless. He was perfect. And thank God for that, that he came and died on that cross. He didn't have to die on that cross. He didn't have to shed his blood for me. But he did it because he loved me and he loved you. And thank God for that. Oh, the majesty of that name. Oh, the cares of sins. Uh, they're speaking about a man. Uh, 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 and we think uh, uh, there uh, that why God exalted his holy name uh, and Jesus alone uh, entered the sin cursed world. He stepped boldly uh, into the, the jaws of death uh, and snatched victory from the icy grips of death and defeat. Uh, and Jesus alone, uh, he conquered death uh, and he conquered hell and he conquered sin for all the men of all time. He is worthy. I believe he's worthy of our praise. Uh, what Jesus Christ did for us that day on the cross of Calvary. He, I tell you, we were on our way to hell, but thank God Jesus came. Thank God he died on that cross. Thank God he shed his blood. No longer am I going to hell. No, I'm, I'm not. I don't fear death today. I don't feel coronavirus today. Oh, preacher, aren't you afraid you're going to die? Oh, preacher, aren't you afraid you're going to get sick? I tell him the worst thing that ever happened to me, I'm going to go to glory. Amen. I'm looking for that day when the Son of the Lord is coming again. Either I'm going to go up, I'm going to die, then I'm going to go up. But I know I'm going there. Amen. We don't need to live in fear. We're in a day. I tell you the best thing you could do is probably throw the TV out and stop listening to the news. Every time you turn on that news, it's all about depression. It's all about bad. Everything's going wrong and everything like that. And it's amazing how the world, it seems like the whole world's fearful. But I tell you, I'm not fearful. I'm on the winning side. I know who my leader is. I know who my master is. He's that my he's my Lord. He's that daysman. He's that redeemer. I'm trusting in him today. I'm going up with a hammer down. Amen. I don't need to fear death. I don't need to walk through society or wondering what, what's going to happen. What's going to happen? What, oh boy, I'm all nervous about this and I'm all nervous about that. I'm telling my friend I'm not nervous at all. I'm going up. I believe the Lord next thing on God's prophetic channel calendar is going to be the rapture of the church and we're going to be raptured out here and we're going to let the devil have this place. I know the Jehovah Witnesses, they try to tell you that, that this earth is heaven. And it's going to get better and better. I tell you, I don't know if you looked in the news lately. It's not getting better. It's getting worse. Amen. But I know I'm going to a place will be better. There'll be no more sin. There'll be no more sorrow. There'll be no more depression. There'll be no more sickness. There'll be no more aches and bones in your in your in your life. I tell you, I get up sometimes on the morning and, I, and I'm not even had cereal yet. I hear I hear a Rice Krispies pop. Amen. I'm getting a little bit older. Amen. I'm a praise God. There's coming a day. There's going to be no more problems. There'll be no more pills to take. There'll be no more going to doctors again. Oh, but I'm going, I'm going to have a glorified body. Praise the Lord. And I believe it's coming soon. So child of God, don't get discouraged. Keep looking up because his name is above every other name. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day. I pray that, Lord, you bless and speak to our hearts today. Lord, just take this simple thought this morning from the Word of God. Lord, your name is above all other names. We thank you for it. In your name, amen. Wrong. Fine. We're going to be singing happy anniversary. That's what we just sung. I thought you said happy birthday. No. Somebody said happy birthday. Well, you might have been. No, I'm just kidding. No, we did say happy anniversary. <laughs> Somebody wound up over here happy birthday, and I thought we were saying that. I can't speak plain a lot of times. I mess up for a All right. I'll let you buy this time, man. <laughs> Yeah, July 2nd. Just a few more days, he'll have a birthday. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay.